Harlem shit. Oh, hi. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Well, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't no, I wasn't we were, either. Where did that come from? We were quick then. We were. We just did that it's and then quick, sat back down. Yeah, it's a quick Harlem Shake right there. Harlem Shake. You, you didn't even know what the Harlem Shake was up until about... I didn't. Until and, up until we did that, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. If anybody else doesn't know what the Harlem Shake was, it's a YouTube fad, and apparently that's what we do now. Apparently we do. We just take YouTube fads and Pokemon them up. Yes. I loved it. <laughs> Hello Pokemon everybody, everything. how are you doing? This is the Pokemania show with me, Pokemaniac Rick, and you, Dragon Tamer Nate. Tell everybody what we've, we've got in store for them. Oh, we've got so much on today's so show. So much. We've got... We've our, got... You, you say it. <laughs> okay, we've got plenty of news, brand new news, Pokemon be, related news. I'm going to eat my ice cream while you do it. Okay. Um, we've also got... Uh, Pokemon of the week, uh, Pokemon card of the week. We've got our regular Pokemon quiz. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got our video battle. Mm-hmm. Which is a new one this week, isn't it? Yeah, it I is. Quit. Yes, Nate, but it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we've also got our Poke Essentials, but we've got a uh, very special section as well. We do indeed. It's called the interview section. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that again. The interview section. It oh, didn't, didn't work. It didn't did it? work. Here we go. There we go. Worked that time. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, this week's interview is with a very special guest. It's with uh, Roger Parsons, the voice of the narrator of, of Pokemon, of the Pokemon anime, all the way through. Well, with a slight gap, but oh, he's done all the seasons. He has. And he referred. Well, actually, I won't say. I'll let him tell you about it later on in the show. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. Can't wait. So you you mentioned competitions. I did mention competitions. In, indeed. Um, if for any new listeners... We, competitions. <laughs> competitions. <laughs> for any new listeners, we, uh, every week we run two competitions uh, to give you guys at home a chance of winning um, a booster pack of 10 cards from the latest Caesar series, which is Plasma Storm. It is indeed, Nate. Um, so yeah, should we kick them off straight away? Let's smash those competitions. We, we can off. do them shortly. Um, we're just waiting for them to go on the system. So, well, my bad. Yeah, so well, it, I didn't realise that. That's that was fine. But in the meantime, we can play a song if you want to kick the show off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so, I don't have a choice. <laughs> so, do you want to introduce this? I do. Um, let's. What, last, it's the same song as last week, Nick. I know it is. So, um, it's a good one. Though. I'm going to go with a different one. Okay. For, for those of you who don't know, we try and relate our songs we play to um, Pokemon. In some way. Uh huh. It's getting difficult though. It is getting difficult. I'm, gonna, I'm about to think of one right now. Uh, hang on. Okay, I've got one. Have you? Go yeah. for it then, mate. Uh, this is um, Fallout Boy <laughs> with uh, My Songs Know What You Did in the Darmanitan. That's terrible. <laughs> Last week you had Darkroy, which was know, but What else could it be? Um, anyway, let's play it. Here we go. In the Darkroy. In the dark, so we're going with Dark Rider. Yeah, we're going with Dark Rider. My Jigglypuff songs know what you did in the Dark Rider. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're ready with this competition? I am. Mate. We're all sorted now. Yeah, we're ready. So uh, yeah, for- this is this week's Who's That Pokemon? Which um, we take an image of a Pokemon and make it silhouette. Silhouette that Pokemon. Yes, we do. Um, and you have to guess what that Pokemon is. And if you guess right, you go into a draw with everyone who gets it right. We put the names in a hat. We pick one out. Um, do you want to see the hat that we put the names in? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, is that a Pikachu hat? Oh, yeah. Where? Do you want to see me wearing the hat that we put I the names in? I think you should wear it all show. Anyway, so yeah, um, if you can guess what that Pokemon is, send in your guesses in multiple ways. Do you want to go through that? I do. You can. You can email us at radio at studyvox.com. That is free. All the ways I'm going to say are free. Shut up. <laughs> you can Twitter at Pokemania FM. We're all over that. We've got lots of free, lots of free. We've got free, wonderful people here tweeting and foruming and Facebooking and all looking very serious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Throw us a smile, guys. Serious faces. <laughs> they can see you on webcams. <laughs> So you can tweet us at Sony Vox FM. You can go all over to Facebook. Go www.facebook.com forward slash Pokemania FM. Enter. Like. 
My yep. guess is this. Or you can Skype us. Or you can go to www.pokemaniafm.com. Yeah, you can. You can do that and go on our forums and, or, yes. and just pop so, lots of Pokemon stuff like a lot of you have been doing. Thank you. But anyway, here is Who's That Pokemon? Who is that Pokemon? There's the image on your webcam for you now. There he is. Or, or she. she. What is going on there? You know what it looks like? What does it look like? Forgive me, but it looks like a certain four-legged Pokemon has just trumped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I can't really see that myself, the, but... The, the, you know, the bit above. It's yeah, like yeah, a kind yeah. of cloud, a gas cloud. Well, maybe it is. Trump cloud? Maybe it is. <laughs> just gone... Sorry. Maybe that's what it is. Yep. So if you know what that Pokemon <laughs> is, uh, send in your guess via the ways we just said, um, and you get a chance to win a, bo- a booster pack, as well as that card, whatever that's that what Pokemon you said, is. You get a chance to win a boat, then. You <laughs> no, you don't win a boat. You win a booster pack. Um, we're not that, you know, we're, we're not that um, monetarily endowed. No. <laughs> yeah. When we are, we will give away a Pokemon boat. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> no, Even promise. The, <laughs> the second we can give away a Pokemon boat, I'm giving away a Pokemon okay, boat. Fair enough. Um, our second contest is our caption contest, in which we take a scene from a Pokemon, um, TV, Pokemon show. TV show episode, and we want you movie. to give a caption to it. That's gonna like a funny caption. That's gonna make us laugh. Doesn't have to be a funny caption. It can be a knowledgeable yeah, caption. Yeah, if he's got Pokemon knowledge in, you were. A lot of people have been taking the image, which we'll put on Twitter and Facebook. Add putting it into some form of photo editing software such as I don't know Photoshop Paint um, Microsoft Word whatever <laughs> and adding their own little captions to it and then sending it back to us is it called can I just ask is it called a meme or a meme I've always known it as a meme and a meme sounds a bit you know like like it's two up itself yeah like a, a meme. Like, I've always thought it was a meme. Yeah, a meme. Kind of the so diva of the. Here is the image world. for this week's caption contest. What's going on there? What? See, this is not that weird uh, a thing. But why have all their faces been swapped around? Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Misty's got Brock's face. Brock a- has got Pikachu's face. Ash has got Misty's face, and Pikachu has Ash's face. I don't know what's going on there. What? Where did we get crazy, this from? Crazy. Oh anyway, my where did you get this from? Um, I found it on um, another Pokemon page on Facebook, and I thought it was quite interesting. So. Awesome. Hit us up. And quite messed up, to be honest. Yeah, it's exactly, like the Pokemon yeah. version of Face Off. With Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, there are competitions. You can tweet them in, do whatever you need to do to get involved. They'll um, be flying about Twitter. And yeah, you've got from Twitter. now until next week's show to get your guesses in. Indeed. We'll, um, be, we'll be announcing the winners of last week's competitions at the end of the show. Definitely. Um, when you do put your entry, if they are on Twitter, at the end of the caption contest, can you put hashtag caption? And at the end of the Who's That Pokemon contest, can you put hashtag WTP? That makes life a lot easier. So much easier for all of us. Because then we can, yeah. You carry on talking for a bit. I'm going to get. So, um, I want to ask you, Rick, what you've been up to this week, oh, Pokemon wise. Do you mean, like, you mean we're going to do this? Pokemania Weekly. That's exactly what I mean. Well, thank you for asking. Actually, Nate, this has been one of my most intense Pokemon weeks oh, okay. as of late. I've had a lot going on. Really? Number one. <laughs> Just making oh. faces at the webcam, that's all. Oh, yeah, that's something we should know. We've now got four... Am I still on? I don't know. No, We've now got there. four webcams, which is very com- confusing for me because I don't know which webcam I'm looking at. It, there. There I am. Hello. No, now I've changed. Excellent stuff. Um, so intense. What's been intense about it? Well, start of the week. Keldeo, level 50. Yep. I'm like, right, let's EV train this thing. Oh, okay. So I go off and I'm EV training my level 50 Keldeo. Yeah. It's a lot of Litwicks. Well, it's not that much Litwicks because I've got Pokerus and I've got myself uh, a Power Lens. So for every one EV I get, that's to- that's, that translates to eight. So I only need to take down 32. Ah. But what I, what I didn't realize at the time was I thought I'd given it the, po- the Power Lens. Forgot to. <laughs> so... I'd only, I'd only had like 64 EVs and then I realised, I was like, oh no. So I had to go back and smash some more Litwicks up. Oh, okay. So I've now got a fully EV trained um, Keldeo, somewhat controversially, in, um, do you know everyone can see you on the webcams, yeah, right? Look down here, out the way. You're this hiding. is a cool trainer, James, if you can see him on the webcam. Definitely hiding. Um, 
So I've EV controversially special attack, obviously. Right. And I've gone for half speed, half HP. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Mixing it up a little Mixing bit. Mixing it up. Because I've also got another one, so if I find that doesn't work, I'll just uh, revert to that. Now, one. when I first met you, we obviously started talking about Pokemon. And we are talking about EV training, and you said, I'm not really a fan of EV training yeah, yeah, speed. Yeah, that's why I only half EV trained it in speed. <laughs> God. Oh, okay, I'll let you off then. <laughs> God. Look, if... If you're going to remember everything I say <laughs> and then quote it back to me at some point in well, our lives... Well, what can I say? We're going to have problems. What can I say? So I've been EV training that. Uh, okay. Me and you have been... We have joint purchased, or mm. purchased, depending on where you're from, um, a massive box of the new Boundaries... Not Boundaries Cross, Plasma Storm booster packs. Now, where's the webcam? Would you like, that's the one that came in. Oh, we've, yeah. We've already opened them and we filmed it. That video is going to be uh, slapping YouTube. It will. Soon. On our, soon. on our YouTube page. So if you want to watch me and Nate open a load of booster packs. Yeah, um, there was more than we... Uh, it took longer than we thought, actually. Yeah. We thought we were just going to smash through them, but no. No. Because we had to talk about the cards and things like that, obviously, didn't we? you mean had to? I love talking about cards. Of me. course. I did some... I throwed some hand shapes out there because <laughs> it was mostly just a video of our hand and some cards. So I... Oh, yeah. I did some serious hand acting. Okay. Trust... I'm not going to say any more because when you watch the video, you'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be serious. Um, now I've, I've been doing loads more. I've been doing... What's that thing called? Uh, Nuzlocke Challenge. Oh, yeah. With different ROMs. Checking them out. They'll all, that'll also be going on... Awesome. YouTube. Um, I've been... Just well, yeah, I've been doing the new intro, yeah, which everyone would have seen. The new intro, including the Harlem Shake, and um, that lovely piece of cartooning. Oh yeah, doing um, it. that was that was courtesy. Can I just say I had nothing to do with the Lopunny scene. Lopunny, get it right. If you're going to date the Pokemon, I don't get the name right. <laughs> I say Lopunny. Well, is this like a clever ploy? Like, oh, if I pronounce the name wrong, people will think we're not, you know. I'm not even going to get involved <laughs> in this. So, uh, yeah, that's a big thanks to um, James and Emma for doing it. Yeah, definitely. It's intro. wicked. I'm, I'm very happy with that intro. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's, and it also proves once and for all for all those naysayers out there that dig lit goes through the centre of the year. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but okay. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've busy got video week. proof. Busy week. Definitely, mate. What have you been up to? Um, I've been... Uh, I watched um, Meloetta and Midnight Serenade on... Uh, How is it? It's good. It's a good one. It's very good. Cool. Uh, it's, that's available on the Pokemon TV app. We'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I watched that. Um, I've been watching some of the episodes um, as well on that app. Um, I've been uh, carrying on with Pokemon Emerald. And I'm, I've got a question. Yeah. For, well, not just for you. Okay. For, uh, <laughs> for all you listeners as well. Fine. So, I've got a Mew, as you know. Yeah, don't I want it, it in. I want to EV train this Mew. Yep. But obviously, its stats are equal across the board. So they're all 120, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I've got a decision to make. Uh, what do I want this Mew to do? What What? What do you think I should EV train it in? Don't you answer. I want. Oh, you want. I want. I want a group decision. Group of. I want the majority vote. So what? What should I EV train this Mew in? Okay. Well, you can give me your opinion if you like. You want me to give you my opinion? Yeah. Mew is one of those Pokemon that you can teach it really any TM. So I'll go and have a look at the TMs that you've got okay. already. Um, make a decision mm -hmm. on what you're going to uh, push it for. Also, have a look around the rest of your team. Because and see what I'm, I'm right lacking. thinking you've got a Deoxys. So I have got a Deoxy, yeah. I've not EV trained that Deoxy or even used that Deoxy yet either. So you're probably going to want to work it in the same way as... Deoxy, aren't you? I am. So that's what that would be my advice to you. But if I was going to do it, if I was going to EV train it myself, I'd smash it in special attack because it is a psychic Pokemon after all, and most psychic moves are special. And then something fun like either HP or defense. Okay. So do you think it's a waste of time to spread the EVs you can get across all the stats to just make it a solid Pokemon all round? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, not, it's not exactly a waste of time. W with a Pokemon, maybe it makes sense with a Pokemon like Arceus. Right. Because Arceus is 120 across the board, and that's quite hard. That's what Mew is, isn't it? No, Mew no, is Arceus only 100. is 140. No, Arceus is 120. 
Trust oh, me. Okay, I trust you. I how, thought I'll how kiss many is 140. Stats? Six. It's got a total of 720. Trust me, it's 120 across okay, the board. Okay, okay. Um, so maybe with Arcus it might make sense, uh, but personally... Not me. No. But, yeah, I'd, I'd get it a big two stats or a big one. Right. And very... Maybe split one load up, but okay. definitely fully max out one stat. That is my advice. I'm not always correct, shocking as that may be Well, I thought this all. might be a bit controversial. What, what do you guys think? Yeah, so please, get in touch. Tell us what you reckon... If you've got a Mew, are you using a Mew? Tell me if I'm an idiot with my Keldio as well. Tell me if I should have gone for, like, attack and speed. Or, you you know, don't like speed. Like <laughs> what can I say? So, yeah. Let's move on to our next section, Nate. Yeah, we can... Do you want to, let's kick off with some news. Okay. I will go first, if that's all right with you. Yeah, of course. If you have registered a copy of Pokemon Black version 2 or Pokemon White version 2, plus a copy of Pokemon Black version or Pokemon White version, you've qualified for some cool gifts. That's right. I've done, oh, look at my face. There it is. I've done that. I've definitely uh, uh, registered them. If you had a Pokemon Global Link account with a registered Pokemon Black version or Pokemon White version game, then recently registered your copy of Pokemon Black version 2 or Pokemon White version 2, you are now eligible to claim some cool stuff. Visit the promotions page at the global link to get free Sea Gear skins for your Pokemon Black version 2 or Pokemon White version 2. It's a lot of me saying the word Pokemon Black version and Pokemon White version. It's fine. Um, uh, plus free Pokemon doll decor items for your home in the Pokemon Dream World. Isn't that nice? So go on, guys. Visit the Pokemon Global Link promotions page and get these six awesome gifts right now. I'll be doing that. Thanks for that. Because I love me some Pokemon dolls. You do? I do. Absolutely love it. You do indeed. Um, talking of uh, tournaments, mm -hmm. the uh, most recent tournament was the uh, Winter Friendly tournament that was kicking off i do um, you can now find that. out um how you did in that um if you competed in the tournament now's your seat now's your chance to see how you stacked up if you head over to the pokemon global link you'll find out all the information um about how you did how you ranked up against other trainers if you didn't get involved keep watching the global link and the pokemon website in general um because they'll be letting you know when the next tournament's kicking off the spring excellent yes so, so is that all the news we've got for now? No, we've got more news than that. Oh, so I have to say more news? Oh. I should really read the script before we do this. <laughs> As we briefly mentioned last week, guys, that the name of our next English TCG expansion is Plasma Freeze. It will be our equivalent of Japan's Spiral Force slash Thunder Knuckle. Thunder Knuckle is such a cooler name than Plasma Freeze. Don't you? Oh, look at that. It's a photo. That looks cool. Yeah. Gla Glaceon. Leafy on. Cool, yeah, cool. I'm excited to see that the decks are, the, are based around um, the two EV, evolutions because that's uh, something fresh. It's not because mm -hmm. it it's well, I thought the last ones were um, what were they, White Curum and Black Curum. They did like massive legendary Pokemon. It's nice to bring it back a little bit and have EV evolution, evolutions as uh, the central piece. Agreed. Uh, it's due to be released in May. Uh, we. Obviously, there's the image of what the booster packs and the decks look like. Uh, this is thanks to Poker Collection. The packs will feature Absol, B-Sharp, Thunderous, and Deoxys. Good for you. You love that Pokemon, Nate. The theme decks, on the other hand, will feature Leafeon and Glaceon. Ah, Leafeon and Glaceon. Le oh. Leafeon and Glaceon. I've, all, I've got too excited about the interview coming up, and okay. I've now forgot to speak. No worries. <laughs> um... Some more news now. There is some more news. Uh, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity is due to be released on May the 17th. Gates uh, to Infinity. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, Pokemon has announced that this game will feature over 20 different dungeons, each with different characteristics and Pokemon. Um, there are also opportunities to unlock new dungeons by scanning everyday objects with the 3DS camera, as well as there'll be download content as well. Wonderful. Which uh, sounds interesting. Uh, Nintendo has also said that the new Mystery Dungeon game will feature four-player cooperative play, so you and your friends can battle through the dungeons together i do have a little trailer for you guys actually on this game right now wow coming up here we go let's see how this goes mold cartoon violence <laughs>
which is good. Yeah. 24th so. of March is two days after my birthday. Really? Anybody know what they're going to get me for my birthday? Because I have some suggestions. <laughs> Anything Pokemon related. And they all involve that game. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I know it comes um, out after my birthday. We it's had a slightly a, late birthday we've, present. But we've had a tweet from... Uh, a tweet from... A uh, treat? <laughs> <laughs> we've had a tweet from, say, Springfield saying... Um, and a treat. Pokemania FM, there's nothing wrong with loving a Lopini. Just saying, I too kind of have a crush on Whimsicott. Wow! That's, I wouldn't have... It's not the sexiest of Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, what is uh, the sexiest of Pokemon? Machamp, Mick? Machamp, and I'm not <laughs> ashamed. Sucks. And I'm not ashamed to say that, Nate. Whimsicott. Whimsicott. There you go. So it? there you go. Look, there are other people out there like you, Nate. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything. Look, we have an intro video that proves. Uh, say Springfield also tweeted um, that they don't. He he doesn't have a Mew, but Keldeo is. Uh, max special attack speed and four into HP. So they, you went half speed, half HP, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So it's very similar. So I'm not that crazy. No. 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 So there you go. Right. Indeed. Let's carry on. Still to come, we've got that wicked interview with uh, Roger Parsons. That's that's coming up very shortly. Yep. In the show, that's going to be sweet. Um, we'll have recaps on our competitions. We've got my Pokemon card of Pokemon. Your Pokemon card of the week, my Pokemon. We should do that one week. Switch Swap. it up. We did say this a while ago. Yeah, I think we will do it. Um, so my Pokemon of the week, your Pokemon card of the week. Uh, the battle quiz. Lots. Stupid amounts. I should shut up and move on to our next section. What do you think about that, Nate? Yeah, we can do. Our next section is what? It's uh, Poke Essentials. Indeed. Now, so, Poke Essentials is our section where we take a yeah. maybe a Pokemon area yeah, of and study. It, I like it area of study and we try to tell people a little bit more about it give it's just bit. for um any of you beginners who are new to pokemon who uh, aren't sure of some of the things because a lot of the lingo we say in this show might go over quite a few of our listeners heads such as the word lingo <laughs> <laughs> um so uh yeah we take an area and try and explain it a little bit more in depth for uh new people people new to pokemon but also um Me. masters who um want to refresh their memory Sorry, I realised that the webcam was pointing at me, so I just can't help myself. Okay. It was a bad idea putting a webcam in front of you. I agree. So this week we're going to go on about Pokemon natures. Now, if you can take me seriously in this hat, well done. Uh, <laughs> so what are natures? Um, natures are the Pokemon uh, personalities, basically, and they were introduced in Generation 3, so Ruby, Sapphire, um, Emerald. Mm -hmm. So you'll know about them because you're playing through Emerald at the mm -hmm. minute. And... They're still, they remain a big game mechanic in Generation 4 and 5 and will probably still be in Generation 6 when it comes out. Every Pokemon in these games has one of these natures and there are 25 natures um, and we'll go through some of them later. Um, so what a nature does is it usually affects the growth rate of two of its stats, ultimately increasing one of its stats by 10% and decreasing another by 10%. So that can be really helpful. It can also be a complete pain depends on which nature you get, and we'll go through that again. Uh, natures also determine the Pokemon's favorite flavor and dislike flavor. Pokemon's flavors. I'll, well, I might put that in the quiz next week. Okay. What is Charizard's favorite flavor? <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, berries, isn't it? And Poffins. Yeah. Um, so each stat is tagged to a flavor. Um, attack is spicy, so hey, that's, that's an example. And the nature boosts the stat. Uh, the tagged flavor, the the tagged flavor will be the Pokemon's favor. Um, every nature represents one of the 25 unique possible combination of stat increase and decrease. Thus, there are five natures that have no effect uh, on the Pokemon stat growth. There are five neutral. Um, obviously, there are five that increase the attack. Five that yeah. So, you get the idea. Yeah. Um, from Emerald onwards, a Ditto or a female Pokemon that holds a Neverstone has a 50% chance of passing its nature to an offspring. So that's important when you're trying to breed, because if you've got a Ditto with a nature that you want, um, then to pass down to the Pokemon, yeah. that's very important when you breed, because um, some of these natures are really, 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 really helpful. I'm pretty sure that in, I might be wrong, in Generation 5, it's now a 100% chance if they hold a Neverstone. Yes. Yeah. Um, but you're not necessarily always going to be playing Generation 5. No, no, I'm cool. just saying. So let's you... go through a few of these natures. Now, I've got a nice handy colour-coded um, list of natures. Well done, Nate. You've, you've gone on this one. That's fine. So I'm going to read them really quickly. We've got hardy, lonely, brave, adamant, naughty, 
bold. You love a low pony with a nice naughty nature, don't you? Now? I'm Sorry. not even getting it. <laughs> Docile, relaxed, impish, lax, timid, hasty, serious, serious, <laughs> jolly, naive, modest, mild, quiet, bashful, rash, calm, gentle, sassy, careful, and quirky. Now you can find out what these. It's so. Say your your Pokemon has a hardy nature. Now basically that doesn't do anything uh, when it comes to like increasing stats and decreasing stats. So that's a neutral one. And right. five neutral ones are hardy, docile, uh, serious, bashful, and quirky. Now they're neutral when it comes to um, no stat increases, no stat decreases. Nate seems to have had some form of bright idea. I'm terrified. <laughs> there it is. Well done. I'm on this. You are all over that. I'm on it. Um, let's have a look at some of them. So we've got Lonely is the first one, and the increased stat on that is Attack, and the decreased stat is Defense, which means its favourite food is spicy, its favourite disliked uh, flavour is sour. I'm going to ignore the Poffin things for the minute because it's a very yeah, specific branch of Pokemon, the game, so we'll just we'll go for like, uh, increasing stats. So, if you've got a lonely nature, your, st your stat will be increased, your attack stat will be increased by 10%, but your defense stat will be decreased by 10%. Now, that's really good for Pokemon like fighting Pokemon, who have high attack. It's good for your Deoxys in attack form. Yeah. 10% increase, and a 10% of 180 is 18. So, that gives him a nice 198 base attack stat. Massive. Huge! So, obviously, that if you're lucky enough to have... Um, a Deoxys with either the Lonely, Brave, Adamant, or Naughty. Uh, personally, I'd probably go with Ad Adamant, because that increases your attack and uh, decreases your special attack. Now, if you wanted a Deoxys with a high special attack, obviously you just have your special attack from Deoxys. Yeah. Um, so Adamant would be my one to choose in that. Now, I'm going to go through some of the natures uh, when I do my Pokemon of the Week. So now you should know a little bit more about what kind of natures you want. So there's there's four that increase your attack, uh, but decrease other stats. There's four that increase your defense, but decrease other stats. Four for speed, um, four for special attack, and four for special defense. None of them uh, apply to HP. No. Um, and if you are looking, if you are watching with video as well, uh, the chart for the natures is on the webcam. So you can see they're the different types of natures um, and how they increase or decrease a certain stat. So natures are very important when breeding. Yeah, and, and when looking to seriously EV train. Yeah, so there's no point in trying to EV train your, um, your, your, your I don't know. There's no point <laughs> trying to tr EV train your Beedrill um, in attack if it's got um, a bold nature because the attack stat is already decreased. So they breed it with a ditto, get another one that's got like a lonely nature. Good advice there from Nate. Don't be bold, be lonely. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Thanks for that. So that was Poke Essentials. It was. Um, it's half past now. Well, it's just gone half past, half past the hour. That hour, of course, changes depending on where you are. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, so there we go. Nature's interesting stuff, don't you think? Yeah, I... Um... Something that I never really, uh, when I first started playing Pokemon, understood or got into or really knew about... Um, I'm going to take the hat off. You know, I was just thinking, I'm talking to um, like what looks like a strange-shaped Pikachu. <laughs> half Rick, half Pikachu. Well, so, yeah, you, you never really thought about nature. No, but now it's a very important thing to be doing. Um, it is if you want, I mean... Do you want to know the um, nature of my Keldeo? No. It's uh, I mean, yes, I do want to know. Like, no, shut up. <laughs> yes, I do want to know. <laughs> it's a uh, jolly. Is it? Yeah, which is not the best thing in the world for me. I'm uh, just looking through. Oh, okay. So it's speeds increase, but special attacks decrease. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but you know what you're going to do. You can't exactly get another one right now, can you? Well, I have got another one. Oh, right. I've, I don't actually know what my Keldeo is, but mine's only level 15. Yeah, well, have a look. It should stay on there. I'll have a look. When you go into the summary of that Pokemon, I'll have a look at you. It's something I've never really done. Um, I'm, as you know, I'm more of a uh, card player than a game player, but when I do play the games... I I've play never, them hard! <laughs> I've never really... Uh, I've never even got into breeding at all. Uh -huh. um, but I think I might. I'm 
just that, there's always an opening yeah I was I was trying to <sighs> I was trying to stay away from that joke and I knew you'd jump in there uh, right I have a, a quick plea oh yes while we're here it's worth bringing up our little um, plight our uh, experiment as it were our you know what I'm talking about. You're looking about. at me like I should yeah. know this. Yeah. The thing that's up in Oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah. Get, if you can see on the webcams, I don't know which... Yeah, yeah, you can. What I'm pointing at, the, the, the wonderful cardboard sign there with Professor Oak saying, Professor Oak says, if this photo gets 10,000 likes, then we can get Pokemon tattoos. Uh, that's going really well, so thank you... Well, there we go. Well done, Nate. Thank you for everybody who has liked and shared. Please continue. We're not quite at 10,000 likes. Do we know how many we're at on our actual... I think our total, including shares from other people's pages, because we've, we've got a lot of people to thank for that. Um, I think we've got a big list we're going to shout out later. Um, we've got, I think it's, we're almost on 3,000. We're just under 3,000 in oh, total. So it's quite a lot. We're nearly halfway. It says on the, our actual page it's something like 900, but overall, because people have been sharing it for us as well, uh, it's around uh, 3,000. Excellent awesome. stuff, guys. Let's carry on. It's worked really well because we have had... If you are a new listener because of that, you're awesome. How about that? Yeah, Throwing indeed. Throwing that out there. Uh, we have had a lot more interaction on our Facebook page and things like that, and yep. Twitter and stuff like that. There are, there's been some comments, some good, some bad. Oh, I've, I've not really looked at many of them. Some of them are absolutely funny as anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you didn't get a chance to hit like or you can't find it, just head over to our Facebook page, po po facebook.com forward slash Pokemania FM, and mm -hmm. it's uh, on our wall, so hit like. You'll see me and Rick standing there. And a lot of people commenting saying that we're either idiots or heroes. Yeah. Can't we be both? <laughs> I think we I are. Think we can. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for everybody who's done that. Uh, when we get them, we will do our very best to film them and then show everybody. Yes. Um, any that, any that, progress on that for you? What what, what I'm going to get? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what I'm going to get. I'm I'm pretty. I'm definitely getting a Mewtwo. Definitely getting Mewtwo. Yeah. And I'm not going with your suggestion of having his extra spinal cord <laughs> tattooed on the back of my neck. I, I think that would be a great <laughs> tattoo. It would just be a purple line going down my neck. There's nothing wrong with that, Nate. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I was going to... I was going to get the, um, the original theme tune lyrics mm. tattooed somewhere. You know, I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Not... It's not always black and white. <laughs> <laughs> but your heart always knows what's right. It does. <laughs> but then I thought, I don't know how people would react to that because we have specifically said Pokemon tattoos. And I could kind of get away with that. People wouldn't immediately look at it and go, that's a Pokemon tattoo. And you know what? I'm not that kind of person. I think if you get the lyrics, it's fine. But it has to be either on a Pokeball or yeah. with some kind of Pokemon imagery on it as well. So, well, I thought, yeah, I'm not that kind of person. I'm going to go all out. Now... The idea is a picture of Magikarp yeah. from the game, and then the, the, you know the box, the scrolling word box yeah. uh, that says Magikarp use splash. It's not very effective. Okay. Yeah. How about that? What do we think? <laughs> or oh, there's an awesome picture of a Blastoise. I mean, like, it's turbo awesome, but it costs a lot of money because it's uh, detailed. Someone sent in a picture of their tattoo. Yes, uh, they did, and we will be showing that. Charizard. We? We'll be showing that later on in the show because it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely... It's more awesome than Snorlax in spandex. Yeah, and if you... if uh, <laughs> my new favourite phrase. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely show you that at the end of the show during our fan section. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. I keep winking at this webcam, hoping that it's on me, but it's probably not. Because I don't know, because it just randomises. So, I don't know. If you, if you see me randomly winking at you, hey. <laughs> hey there, listeners. Why did we give Rick a webcam? <laughs> just pointed directly at my face. Yeah. I knew this um, was a bad idea. Okay, so, excellent stuff. It's now 22, and the script informs me that at 22, we have an interview with Roger Parsons, voice of the narrator from the Pokemon TV series. Now... This is cool stuff, am I right? This is really cool. This is as cool as when we had Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash. Indeed. What fun times we've had. So without further ado, I'm going to shut up and let me and Nate interview Roger Parsons. It's awesome. Love it, guys. Here, Here we, we go. go. Well, that doesn't work. Well, that didn't work for some reason. Well, to be fair, I did start the interview by going... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was just your mouth doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I start every interview. We we have got cool trainer James working on the issue. Um, right he's so working on it. We will definitely have that interview come in shortly. And I bigged it up so well. I know. Oh. Never mind. Let's oh, move well. on to the next. That uh, weedle section. in the system. <laughs> weedle in the system. Should we move on to the next section anyway? It's your section. I'm I'm very much aware of that. Although I have not prepared in the slightest for that's it. Fine. But that's not that big an issue because I am capable of multitasking. He says. So this. Um, Introduce the section for me, Nate. Uh, this is, this section is Pokemon of the Week, in which Rick will tell you about a Pokemon that's caught his eye recently that he wants to share the 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 perks and the downfalls of a, of this Pokemon. Uh, we'll be talking about the stats and everything, really. I could not have it. I could not have put that any better myself. Well done. Thanks. You have a way with saying things about Pokemon. <laughs> So my Pokemon of the week this week, uh, I haven't done one like this in a while. Um, well, I have actually, but th I wanted to go for a few of the uh, uh, abilities like I normally do. And this, this is one that I actually started looking at because I wanted a big hard hitter, massive hard hitter in the attack. Because mostly I normally go for special attack. And I've been doing things like special defense and HP recently. So this is my first real smash attack. And this Pokemon, oddly enough, apart from legendaries, has the highest base attack stat um, out of all the Pokemon. And it's only surpassed by Curum and um, obviously Deoxys in attack form. Now, if you're wondering what Pokemon I'm talking about, I'll give you a quick Pokedex entry. If two were to smash their heads together, their foot-thick skulls would keep them from fainting. Now, when it says foot-thick skulls, that's difficult to say. I'm assuming it doesn't mean as thick as a foot. I think it means, like, the distance foot. But that's still big. That's 12 inches. So this Pokemon must be massive. Let's have a look at its size. It's only 5 foot 2. 5 foot 3. Uh, it's on the webcam as well for and those guys at home. I haven't even said what it is. <laughs> but it's only four foot three, and apparently it's got a foot of skull. So it's only four foot, and then a foot of skull. That's madness. The Pokemon is, of course, a Rampados. Now, he is a just soul-type rock Pokemon. Um, so weakness-wise, you're looking at grass and uh, water and fighting and ground <laughs> and steel. So he's got a lot of weaknesses, but he is rock type, um, so he'll be good for taking down plenty of Pokemon. Um, so let's have a look at his stats, which are uh, the important ones. HP 97, not shabby. Defense 60. Now for a rock type Pokemon to have a defense of 60, that's not great. Special attack 65, not brilliant. Special defense 50, he does not take damage well. And speed 58, so he's not exactly the fastest thing in the world. But, like I said, highest attack stat of all non-legendary Pokemon, so that's 165. This is huge! Now, if you have a... Talk, thinking about its... Um, Think, thinking about its natures, regardless of what downside you get, it's probably not going to matter that much because, well, the rest of its stats aren't great, but you probably want to hit it in special defense. So ideally, you're, you want a naughty nature because that'll increase the attack by 10% and decrease the special defense by 10%, which would be absolutely awesome because that's a, an extra 16 attack on that. So you're talking uh, 181, which is massive. You, that might that will be 500 if you fully EV train that with a um, with either a naughty and adamant a brave or a lonely uh, nature you should be getting above 500 for your level 100 really attack. and that is huge wow not many things are going to be able to take that not many things are going to be able no. to take a fully EV trained Rampados to the face mm. is it what's his speed like 58. So that's it's his style. Not exactly brilliant. Uh, with regards to moves, um, we're, we're looking at the usual. Most of it, the majority of its moves are physical, of course, with its attack, with the exception of ancient power, which is special attack. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. But you've got the nice rock move to get your stab. What stab? Same type attack bonus. Huh? Stabs. Oh, right, yeah, Sa sorry. Same yeah. type attack bonus. Yeah. So obviously a rock Pokemon using a rock move uh, will increase yep. its attack by 1.5. So 
that increases your with your massive attack anyway head smash the move does 150 damage that's increased by 1.5 because you got using your same type attack with your huge if you fully either trained it correctly 181 possibly 500 um attack stat the only way to describe that is boom okay <laughs> Am I right? So that's how good it is. It is massive. It's got some... Um, as far as rock moves, the, uh, when it levels up, it's only Ancient Power and Head Smash. That's not brilliant, but it does learn some smashing moves. Um, with, with regards to, like, TMs, uh, you can go ahead and give it some, like, Smackdown. That's that's a good one. Um, any Any... Well, any move you really want for TMs. Uh, rock Tomb, interesting one. Uh... But I recommend giving it a ground move, and I will tell you why. You won't get your same type of attack bonus, but maybe a big ground move like Earthquake, uh, which does 100 and hit, always hits 100. I'll tell you why I recommend that just after I explain a little bit about its... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abilities. Now, Rampados itself only has one ability and a hidden ability. Um, so its, it's main ability is called Mold Breaker. Uh, and what Mold Breaker does, it's a really cool ability. It means the Pokemon's moves are not affected by foes uh, during uh, foes' abilities during battle. Now, there's a lot of abilities that affect other Pokemon. Um, I could run through, through a few of them quickly for you, if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you've got, like, absolutely huge. Uh, battle Armor, Big Pex, Clear Body, Contrary, Damp... Dry skin, filter, flash fire, flower gift, heat proof, heavy metal, hypercutter, immunity, inner focus, insomnia, keen eye, leaf guard, levitate, light mail, lightning rod, limbo, <laughs> magic bounce, magma, armor, ma oh, I'm not going to go through them all, but I'll, that's uh, that's the taster right there. It would have been fun. Um, now, interestingly, levitate does not get affected, does not uh, be affected. So any Pokemon with levitate. You know what levitate does? It means yeah. it doesn't get affected, no affected by, by ground. Yeah. So that's why I give it a nice ground move with the mob breaker. So you can mix it up. Interesting. Uh. Like, ah, I won't be affected by a ground move. Oh, wait. Yeah, you will. Because <laughs> a mold breaker one off on you. Interesting stuff. That's just a use. Uh, just something interesting that you might want to think about. Now, its hidden ability is an excellent ability. It's one of my favorite abilities. Uh, it's called Sheer Force. Now, what Sheer Force does is moves with a secondary effect are increased in power by 33%, but they lose their secondary effect. So, if a move has a secondary effect, such as Blizzard, um, Blizzard does its damage, and it all, may also freeze them solid. It won't be able to freeze them solid anymore, but it'll do 33% more damage. Oh, okay. We had another Pokemon that had this ability, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Indeed. So, that's another one of the things I'm... Uh, you can use it's good for bite because Rampados learns bite because bite secondary ability is may also make the user flinch but it won't do that it'll just hit a lot harder um, with regards to the moves that Pokemon can use uh, that this Pokemon can use uh, there aren't huge amounts that it learns so you'd have to TM teach it TMs uh, Rock Slide Large boulders are hurled at the uh, opposing team to inflict damage. It may me also make the target flint. It'll increase for by 33%. Things like that. Cool moves. That uh, is a cool ability. Um, either one is good, depending on what you want to use it for. But again, with a massive 165 attack, you're going to be doing a lot of damage regardless. Ah. So that is your Pokemon of the week. Indeed. Rampados. Good Pokemon. He's, he's um, particularly cool when shiny. Because he's red. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Um, <laughs> Bit of random useless knowledge for you. When we were talking about EV training, uh, Luke and Gengar has been in touch. Um, he says uh, he's been trying an EV... Oh, sorry, been trying an EV cast form today. Um, and it already damaged slightly cast form. It took helping hand boosted stab heat wave and survived. Really? Yeah. Cast form. Cast form's a cool Pokemon. But I might not say anything about it because it might be my Pokemon of the week. In the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, just to mention, we've had a message here on uh, Facebook from Say Springfield saying, "Did we review the new decks? You think about going out and buying one?" And Nate, you're going to be doing that very soon. Yes, aren't you? I am. I'm going to be doing a uh, sp special video uh, where I'll be reviewing the deck and also, hopefully, giving Mr. Rick here a battle with the decks um, on, on our new Pokemon. 
Yeah, and we're thinking of actually, because we've done a lot of online stuff, so we're thinking of actually filming a real card battle for a change yep. with uh, with our Pokemania map. Indeed. Indeed. So you'll be able to see that. Um, Special fun So stuff. yeah, you, sh you sh can expect that shortly, so don't run Inst out and buy it yet. <laughs> we'll do that video very well, shortly. Well, run out and buy it, I mean. Anyway, it's Pokemon, so buy it, yeah, it's going to yeah. be good. And then watch us. But no, um... Truthful, truthful answer right now is I don't know because I haven't played them myself yet, but I will be shortly. Indeed, very shortly. Indeed. Not like during the show, but... <laughs> no. So uh, we've had the thumbs up from Cool Trainer James that the interview is ready. Ooh. It's ready. It's, it's, oh, Nate, it's, Nate knows how to play the interview. It's turbo it's ready. It's not on that computer. <laughs> <laughs> interview with Roger Parsons, the voice of the narrator. Kick it off, Nate. I'm so excited. So, uh, we're here with uh, Roger Parsons. Hello, how are you doing? That hasn't worked. I'm well. Wonderful. Everything uh, on that side cool? Everything's absolutely amazing on this side. Uh, we'll kick straight off with some of the questions. Um, when you first started the Pokemon, the first season of Pokemon, did you think it was going to be such a massive success? Do you think it was still going to be going in 16 years? I don't think anybody imagined it would last this long. I mean, everybody in the cast kind of knew that this had been a big enterprise in Japan. But when it came over here, I guess it was anyone's guess. Would it work? Would it not work in USA? And I guess history has spoken louder than any prognostication possible. Indeed. Uh, mentioned you spoke about the cast. Did you get to spend much time with them at all? Well, in the early days, uh, Pokemon USA, which was the company that sort of ran things uh, both during the reign of uh, four kids and then when Pokemon it took it over was in new york and they used to have an annual you know christmas party so everybody got a chance to meet everybody else when the company moved from new york to washington state um that sort of ended which was a, you know we don't spend as much time together but a lot of us who are still around uh will get together occasionally carter uh cathart being one um I guess uh, JC is still around, uh, Tom Whalen, Lisa Ortiz, both of whom are with uh, Duart, which is the current producer yeah. of the series, Tom being the engineer okay. on most of the uh, sessions. Obviously, with the success of the first series, there was the movie. Um, first of all, how was that to be part of a movie, and how different was it recording to the show? Well, you know, short form an episode is different than long form a movie in that uh, not so much for me because I just essentially introduced the show. Yeah. Of course, I did occasionally do characters from time to time, but it's much more difficult to maintain character for a long period of time if that character is manufactured, not uh, sort of part of your being. And I think a lot of the performers who do Pokemon Maybe they're a little like me. They've always had these characters bouncing around in their brain, and Pokemon was the chance to let them out in some form. So I think uh, not only do people maintain character well, but the cool thing was that since everybody's enjoying what they're doing, gee, ask me to do something I love. Well, do you yeah. think you'll get a good result? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Absolutely. So you love doing Pokemon. That's... Yeah, it's there fun. You are. It's really, it's a really fun thing. Did cool. you uh, get the chance to do any promotion for the shows, or any premieres, or conventions, or anything like that? Well, there is uh, some stuff on the website. Um, I've done some uh, spots for Pokemon and other Nintendo products. So, it, it, I think it's a natural to have somebody like the narrator do stuff like that because the narrator is a recognizable audio entity in the commercial world. And um, one of the movies had Don LaFontaine. You guys are familiar with Don LaFontaine, right? He's Mr. Trailer USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, here he is introducing the show. And he was using his scariest voice. And I kept wondering, why would you want to scare your audience when what you really should be doing is inviting them? <laughs> why aren't you doing all the trailers for US movies? Uh, that's a good question. I think you but should. I do, I do get a few, and it is a lot of fun. Um, that's another really cool thing, yeah. where you're in the studio for about four hours, uh, because it's not just one trailer, it's several trailers. Trailers are regional items. 
yeah. and different things are stressed in different markets. But the other thing is, there's also the TV and the radio spots. So you're you're hanging out for quite a while in that studio. That's all I got to say on that one. <laughs> okay. Well, um, a lot of people on Twitter were asking things. These are a lot of questions that all of Please. Pokemon fans wanted to know. Um, the first one was. What was your favorite episode or moment from the show or any of the movies? Well, what I really like, and I've always, I know it's corny, but I've always loved Team Rocket. And that's sort of, uh, you know, if Darth Vader were a stand-up comic, <laughs> that's sort of <laughs> sort of like what, what, what you get with Team Rocket. And as opposed to Team Plasma, who are really scary guys. Yeah. But uh, right through the series, uh, it's great to break tension, you know, when there's a problem, somebody's lost, some, whatever. Along they come with some evil plan, which they then completely foul up. <laughs> and much to the uh, entertainment of the audience. And it, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great device in any, in any show. That's Comedy. It, definitely. And that's not corny at all. That's an excellent answer. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in terms of characters, you, I mean, you briefly mentioned Team Rocket. Did, did you have any favorite characters, or were they your favorite character? Or? Well, you know, what? it's interesting. As you watch the series, I don't know if you, you can even say it evolves. It changes. Uh, new things come along. Uh, old things drop away. I like Brock, yeah. who, is, who is no longer with us. Mm -hmm. But that's all okay, because it's, it's part of... Uh, uh, Cylon is sort of a new and interesting character. Yeah. The, the so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everybody loves Brock. I think, it, I suppose it depends on when you grew up watching the show. If you watch it from the beginning, then probably Ash, Misty and Brock are always going to be your favorite characters. But if you're a newer fan, then hmm, that might yeah, be something to do with ex Exactly, exactly. And I don't know if you have forums uh, on the British side that run all of the various... Uh, shows from time to time yeah but on the cartoon network they tend to uh, you can see episodes from way back and it's it's really kind of interesting i forget what is it over i don't know is it up to 800 episodes now 750 or Seven, some it's just yeah gone to about 750 now so that's <laughs> i mean all, that, that's a lot of episodes that's a ton of stuff and so it's it's really there's so much there and the thing is there's a consistency in the show so that even if you go back a whole bunch of episodes, uh, there's there's new stuff, there's interesting stuff, and of course there's all the. Uh, I have no idea what the Pokemon count is. It's six. Anyone know it? Forty nine. I know I did something called Pokemon Battle Frontier or something like that. It was a game, yeah, and at that time it. there were four hundred ninety, mm -hmm. and I remember having to in the studio do all four hundred ninety. <laughs> One by one. Wow. That took I'm, quite a while. I'm sad enough to probably know most of them as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not sad enough. Well, Excellent enough. No, no, it's, it's, it's quite an effort. Yeah. It's quite an effort. Um, speaking of all Pokemon, do you have any particular favorite one? This was the main question that we got asked. Which one is your favorite Pokemon, if you have one? Well, I've always liked Pikachu because I think... Um, one of the elements of the of the character of that little creature is the loyalty and the um, I kind of love it when somebody is, you get knocked down, you get back up, you get knocked down, you get back up. And of course, that's the kind of, of, of thing that that one has come to expect from Pokemon characters. I also like this, the the vocal of uh, uh, the, the Japanese woman who, who plays the role of Pikachu, I, I like this, the way she does it. Yeah. The little, the little ways she sort of inflects, uh, Pika Pika, you know, and it's, it's just, uh, you know, either, I guess you've found, the interesting thing is you see that symbol on everything. And that's not the reason I like the character. It's because of what's in the character itself. Yeah. That little creature that everyone has come to know and love. Indeed. Oh, uh, cause, uh, when we had uh, an interview with Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash, um, mm -hmm. I said that I'd, I'd recently read at the time that when they first made the when the Japanese first made it, the plans weren't to have Pikachu as the main Pokemon. It was going to be like Clefairy, a different Pokemon. Now that would mm -hmm. I don't know how you I, I think that would have been weird. What do you think? <laughs> well, you know, it's easy to to sort of second guess stuff like that, but 
uh, the Pikachu stuff sells incredibly well. Yeah. So I think I'm not the only fan. I know I could be wrong. <laughs> well, as you say that, I'm sat in the studio with uh, three different Pikachu items yeah. around me. So obviously uh, it's worked. Uh huh. Another fan, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got kind of got to be. It is. Yeah. What I love doing. Um, you mentioned that you went to. You've been to. You've done some promo and stuff for that. Do you, have you been given any like interesting free stuff, or have fans sent you anything odd? Do you get much well, Pokemon merchandise? Well, you know what's great? Uh, when these parties used to happen, uh, you got things like, I remember getting a great big puffy Pikachu white robe, uh, <laughs> little, little glasses with the Pikachu symbol on them. And of course, everybody who did the movie got a cast jacket. Uh, you know, like if, yeah. if you're in a Broadway play or a, a motion picture here, uh, somebody within the uh, administrative side um, gets these jackets made. And that, that's sort of cool. It's the Pokemon movie with a huge Pikachu on the back. Wait. The biggest Pikachu oh, wow. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that's cool. So it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. That is very cool. Um, as I mentioned, like a lot of people on Twitter and on our Facebook page really excited and asking questions. One, one person did say, uh, and I suppose I better tell you this, but he said, uh, you were the voice of his childhood. So thank you for that. Wow. <laughs> I bet that's nice to know, isn't it? Well, it's incredible. And you know, the thing about doing the role of the narrator, what I tried to do with that was, was to create that great narrator of old that used to be on a radio and television in America. Yeah. Because if you listen, I don't know, have you ever heard the original uh, Japanese narrator? I haven't. Well, I suppose I have, but I... Um, because he is a very, he's very consistent. Is he? And, and, a, and he pushes with a very strong presentation. What I try to do, as opposed to, to just doing it the same way every time, or staying, let's say, within a very narrow range of characterizations, if there's a mysterious opening, play the mystery. If there's a happy opening, smile a bit with the announcement. You see what I mean? So that, I do, yeah. so that you're more reflective of what's coming rather than just the same old announcer. But that's just me. Excellent. And far be it for me to criticize anyone. <laughs> um, another question we had was, from this, well, again, somebody else was saying um, they want you to do all their voicemail um, <laughs> announcing and things like that. Uh, another question we've had on Twitter is, uh, how is narrating the show? How has that changed from when it started and, and from obviously how it is today? Well, you know, it's for me, it's pretty consistent. Um, you mm -hmm. come in, you have one, two or three shows. Um, you look at the story. Um, you listen to the music. You figure out what, what you, what's the best way to do that? Because the words, uh, you have to make the words work. You have to make them interesting. Um, you know, I think it's, it's what always surprises me is there are very few shows where there is a narrator at the beginning. Yeah. And it's a very old, it's a kind of traditional form. I think uh, the only one that's, that's here in New York is uh, the Law and Order series. Yeah. yeah. Where they have that, this, the, the, the announcer or the narrator introducing the show. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's been kind of fun because in a way it keeps alive that tradition of the narrator, the storyteller, the person who, with whom you enter the story, and uh, with whom you leave the story. So it's an interesting way, it's an, interest, it's, it's an interesting preservation of a, of a broadcast form. Definitely. Um, well, thank you very much for agreeing to talk to us. It's been an absolute pleasure. It has. Well, Nate and Rick, it's been a pleasure for me too, and I wish you all the best with uh, going forward with this show. I'm, I'm sure there's tons of stuff. If there isn't uh, 100 shows out of 750 episodes, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. What? Take care. Best of You're listening to the Pokemania Show with Nate and Rick on Studybox FM. Wow. That was fun stuff. Yeah, thank you very much, Roger Parsons. My favorite part of that was, um, while the interview was going, obviously that was a pre-recorded interview. While the interview was going on, we were listening back again, and Nate turned to me, the bit where he was saying, we got these um, cast jackets with a giant Pikachu on the back, and Nate turned to me and went, I want that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I do want that jacket. 
But big, massive thank you to Roger Parsons for... Uh, we we have got a soundbite from him, but and don't really want to risk it today in case it comes out like the last hiss. hiss. So okay. I will have it sorted for next week. Cool. Okay. Thank you, James. Um, um, so, yeah, that was massive. Absolutely awesome. Indeed. I hope everybody enjoyed that. We will also be putting that on YouTube, won't we? Yes, yes. we will. We've, uh, we had a tweet during that from uh, Hannah Tinsley, who's tweeted in pictures of... Um, her Pokemon tattoo, and it's awesome. Yeah, there we go. Massively Is awesome. Yeah, uh, Pampor. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much for sending that in. Um, we'll probably be, we might be able to show that at the end of this show. Uh, if not, we'll show it definitely on next week's show. Sorry, winking at the webcam again. <laughs> uh, there's, there's an awesome moment, you know, in your life where you're looking at Twitter and suddenly it just says, Jirachi is following you. Yeah, uh, five seconds ago, apparently, uh, Jirachi just started following us. Top notch I've always stuff. wanted Jirachi to follow me, yeah. so that's fine. On Twitter is fine. So you're listening to the Pokemania show with Nate and Rick on Studivox FM. Well, Talking of which, don't forget to go and follow Studivox FM on Twitter. Indeed. Well, you're already on the website. Yeah. Check out the other shows as well. Excellent. Lots of other awesome shows. Indeed. Got the rock show, Crypt. The quiz show with Will Stanton. Lots. Loads. Hit schedule and find out. Definitely. Uh, right, still to come on the show, we have the quiz, which is coming up very shortly. So, Nate, why don't you go and get in the position? James, stop farting about with whatever well, you're doing. The thing is, should I stay here and look at the answers, being as I got zero out of ten last week? <laughs> <laughs> you have to redeem yourself, Nate. You have to redeem. Oh, don't give me any more pressure. Um, I did quiz, terrible. I do tend to be a little bit harsh with some of my questions. A little bit. Right, I'm moving over there. I'd like to see it as an opportunity for everyone to learn. James, you you don't have to be stood on a chair to take part in the quiz. Really? Because I thought you did. <laughs> Can I, I'm going to take my Pikachu. Yeah, please do. Do you have... Do you have okay, right. So, again, everybody, please take part on the quiz, in the quiz, for the quiz, with the quiz, online. Answers, you, can, you can tweet your answers into us at... Can you do at Pokemania FM? Yeah, we've, we've, can, yeah. yeah, you can. Pokemon FM or stu uh, at Studyvox FM. Or at Studyvox we'll FM. We will yeah, indeed tweet be... To both of them. Tweet, just... just yeah. Tweet your answers everywhere, at everybody, even people who aren't even listening. <laughs> just, just tweet your answers, it'll be amazing. Joy Yeah, at Joy... Tweet at Joy right now. Everybody, it'd be cool. Um, just waiting on my quiz to load up. <laughs> Load up. It's like so, Rick. Is this just you're just saying this quiz this week? You're not going to try tweet. No, I'm not going to try and tweet after the shenanigans of last week. Yeah, that didn't really work out. No, it didn't. Yeah. Speak. Speaking of not really working out, I can't. There it is. Right, I found my quiz. Calm down, everybody. Um, do you want to spin the mics around so everyone has a mic. It, well, you can do. Well, can't um, because. Fine, okay, yeah. they're, they're showing. It's fine. We've got plenty of people taking part this week. We have a uh, Dragon Tamer Nate as usual. Hello. Cool trainer James. Um, what did we? What? what? Lass. Lass. Lass Emma. Emma uh, what do you two guys want to be called? Schoolboy Miles. <laughs> we, <laughs> we won't go with Schoolboy Miles. We'll go with. Come on, what's an awesome Pokemon trainer name? Um, Ace Trainer. Yeah. Ace Trainer Miles. George. Any preferences? I'll just go for Ace Trainer George. You want an ace chain of George as well? Be, uh, elite for George. Elite for George. <laughs> Lots to live up to. Um, if you don't know the answers, let's just be silly and put some funny answers down because okay, this thanks. quiz is quite difficult. Nate, this one is directly aimed at you. Uh, and thank you, <laughs> thank you to Oliver Pritchard who uh, sent me in this question. I enjoyed this. I didn't know this. So question number one is, according to a journal found in the Pokemon Mansion, what date is Mewtwo's birthday. Oh my god. Are we going within a certain... No, you have to get the date. Yeah, you have to get the date bang on. You've got yeah. 365 of them to choose from. Well, I'm doubting myself now. Or 366. Mewtwo's birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Right, you cool with that? Yeah, yeah of course yeah. I am. How's everyone feeling right about now? that? <laughs> what a question. Now, this one is my new favourite question. Uh, I'm going to do a question like this every week, and I started last week. So this one. Shiggy is the German name for which Pokemon? <laughs> Shiggy. Shiggy. If anybody gets this, I'll be so impressed. Das Shiggy. See, this is a little unfair if there are any German listeners. I think I know this one. Do you? Maybe you won't get an out of 10 this week then, Nate. I, I, know, I know where Beauty's birthday is. <laughs> right. Question number three. If you were EV training your Pokemon, 
and you went out and you and you fought 255 magic up what statistic would you be uh, training Ooh, hp attack so defense special attack special defense or speed interesting Ooh. 255 magic up is it's quite the effort <laughs> magic up um Right, so if you were EV training your Pokemon and you went out and fought 255 Magikarp, what, what statistic would you be training? Those statistics are HP. You would get splashed a lot. H <laughs> <laughs> HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, or speed. Question number four. Which Pokemon is the weakest according to base stat total? Um. So you understand, like, all the stats total together... Which Pokemon is, oh. in that case, the weakest? And again, I'll be super impressed if anybody gets this. Uh, this is a good question as well. I'm quite happy with this. Question number five, I think. Yes, question number five. In the Team Rock Rocket motto, what is Meowth's only line? Meowth only has one line in the Team, team Rocket Motto. We all remember the Team Rocket motto, right? Prepare for trouble, make it double. Uh, what is Meowth's only line? Good stuff. Lots of blank faces. Question number six. I like how everyone's sitting there going... <laughs> They're all going for it in their heads. It's great. Question number six. What type is the move Lick? Ooh. Good noise, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sample that for next week's show. <laughs> Fun stuff. No, we won't. How, how is everybody on Twitter doing? Remember, tweet us in at StudyVoxFM or at Pokemania. Um, I just loaded up at Pokemania FM. I just loaded up Twitter and it's now in the way of my questions. And we're back. Question number seven. How many different shapes does the Pokemon Unknown have? Oh. Can we sample that for next week's show as well? <laughs> yes, we can. I, I read this the other day. Oh, you should know. Uh, didn't we get it sent in by um, the Rio Asingo? He sent in um, yeah, he did. the Pokemon uh, sent lyrics yeah, and he sent in, in Unknown. Yeah. He's the top Rio gentleman. Asingo will definitely know this question. <laughs> yeah, he will. Right, so how many different shapes does Pokemon, the Pokemon Unknown have? Question number eight. What is the Pokeball called that allows you to catch Pokemon of the opposite gender? So you went out there with a male Blastoise, and you came up against a female Gyarados, and you, and you wanted to catch it. You're like, oh, I've got a ball specifically for this. What is that ball called? I do like specific balls. You love specific balls, James Preston. Well. <laughs> <laughs> An educated guess. An educated guess. No, it's not like yeah. guaranteed, but it's, yeah. 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 It's, it's not a master ball. ball. Come on. Is it a what? A master ball. <laughs> Question number nine. What shell, what colour shell, does a shiny Blastoise have? Oh... It's not that crazy a question. Just, just throw out, throw out a um, colour. That's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, I got distracted by people en no entering clue. our caption competition. <laughs> uh, so that was question number nine. What colour shell does a shiny Blastoise have? Now, the la tenth and final question. This one's a bit... Weird. Which Pokemon is the version mascot for the game Crystal? Now, do we all know what a version mascot is? Yeah. I guess it's the one on the front of the game. Yes, it is. So for red, it'd be Charizard. For blue, it'd be Blastoise. So Crystal. I'm not even going to tell you what generation Crystal is. I'm not going to tell you. Which Pokemon is the version mascot for the Pokemon I just said? I'm still 
How we quick run through the questions, or is everyone all right? I'll do it really quickly. Question number one: According to a journal in the Pokémon Mansion, when is Mewtwo's birthday? Question two: Shiggy is the German name for which Pokémon? Question three: If you were EV training your Pokémon and you fought 255 Magikarp, what statistic would you be training? Question number four: Which Pokémon is weakest according to the base stat total of all Pokémon? Question number five: In the Team Rocket motto. Why is Meowth's only line? Question six, what type is the move Lick? Question seven, how many different shapes does the Pokemon Unknown have? Question eight, what is the Pokeball called that allows you to catch Pokemon of the opposite gender? Question number nine, what colour shell does the Shiny Blastoise have? And finally, question number ten, which Pokemon is the version mascot for the Crystal game? We're going to play a song while I mark all the answers. One of my favourite songs. Indeed, it's one we've played before, but hey, why not? It's so awesome. I saw it on the Brits last night, it was fun. And this is I Knew You Were Trubbish by Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor song, Swift. That it, song is turbo good. It's good because Swift is a t Pokemon move and Trubbish is a Pokemon. It is. And I knew you were Trubbish when you walked in because you smelled. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the quiz. Thank you for everybody who took part. There's some big, um, some good Twitter answers. Yeah, Real Masingo said this quiz is hard this week. Even the Pichu brothers of friends are stomped on it. Boom. Right, let's go through them. Question number one. According to a journal found in the Pokemon Mansion, when is Mewtwo's birthday? I'm impressed. Because you're all very close, except for one person. Um, let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, 25th of December, Emma, you were the one person that wasn't very close. Oh. <laughs> 10th of February, James. Um, Miles, you've gone for the 336th day. It's not yeah. technically a day. <laughs> uh, the 29th of February. Close, but not, no banana. And George, you've gone for 14th of February. However, Nate, unsurprisingly, has the correct answer with 6th of February. You know, I actually watched the first movie on that day in celebration of Mewtwo. <laughs> it's, what what I do. Five, then. it's what I do. <laughs> so well done, Nate. Off to a good start. Question number two. Shiggy is the German name for which Pokemon? Nobody's got this right. Shuckle for Nate. Shiftery, says Emma. Tepig, says James. Um, Snorlax, says George. Uh, Miles didn't have a clue. Didn't even want to hazard a guess at a Pokemon. What was the German name? <laughs> Shiggy. Shuckle, Shiggy. You see, know, see the logic? Squirtle. Oh, okay. Correct yeah, yeah. Squirtle. Shiggy. Um, no, no. Question safe. number three. If you were EV training your Pokemon and you fought Magikarp, what statistic would you be training? Nate's gone for defense. Uh, Emma's gone for defense. James has gone for speed. George has gone for special attack. Um, Miles has gone for HP. One person got it right. Defense? Magikarp? I don't know. Um, it's speed. Oh. So well done, James. <laughs> Question number four. Which Pokemon is weakest according to the base stat total of all Pokemon? I thought I knew this. I You've thought gone I had for Magikarp. this in the bag. Close. Not correct, though. 200 is Magikarp's base oh, okay. total stat. Uh, Barboach from Emma. Interesting, but it's got a massive defense. Uh, Joltik from James. Quite a big speed. Um, speed. No, George and Miles haven't even gone for a guess. I'm a big fan. Just, just like, don't even pretend. <laughs> so, no, I don't really care. Uh, the correct answer is Sunkern. Oh. With a mighty 180. Yeah. Oh. It's just a terrible Pokemon. <laughs> but fun to look at, so there you go. <laughs> uh, question number five. In the Team Rocket motto, what is Meowth's only line? Here we go. Can Prepare I? for trouble, make it double. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within our nation, to denounce the evils of truth and love, to extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Me, Al, that's right. <laughs> and sample that for the next show as well. What was that? That was my impression of me, Al. He sounded like... Mickey Mouse. I sounded like Meowth. <laughs> Don't know what you mean. Meowth, that's right. Surprisingly, not everyone got that right. George did. Well done. Um, Miles said something about a bubble. <laughs> 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 that's wrong. Nate, Meowth, that's right. Correct. Uh, Emma, Meowth, that's right. James, I'm not going to give it to you. Aww. You what? just went with, that's right. Aww. James. You just say Meowth. Question number six. What type is the move Lick? Uh, I don't think anybody got this right, actually. No. Nate's gone with normal. I thought this one would be obvious. Uh, Emma's gone with poison. Uh, James has gone with normal. Is it? Oh, I know it. 
I know what it is now. That's it. Miles has gone with a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> it's ghost. Of course it is. You'll find that out in um, our... I've just Pokemon remembered, Battle. yeah. Haunty uses it, doesn't he? Yeah. So, question number eight, uh, seven. How many different shapes does the Pokemon Unknown have? Nate's gone for 30. Mm, interesting. James has gone with 27. So close. Um, George has gone with seven. It's not quite as close. Autumn uh, went with 26. They said it has one for each letter of the alphabet. Correct. But from generation three onwards, they added an exclamation point yes. mark and, and a question mark. A question mark meaning that Emma was correct with 28. Good work. Oh, I thought there was only an exclamation mark. And a question mark. I missed that. Question number eight. Uh, if you went out, if you, what is the Pokeball called that allows you to catch Pokemon of the opposite gender? Um, attract ball. Gender balls. Gender balls, Emma. No. Attract ball. <laughs> Gap. Eight. The special spherical one. Miles, shockingly, you're wrong. I thought attract ball. You're all wrong. It's the love ball. <laughs> There's a love ball. Oh, okay. James, you love balls, don't you? I do. Stop <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Sampling> that. <laughs> Just behave yourself. So it's the love ball. The love ball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never come across that. Question number nine. What colour shell does a shiny Blastoise have? Nobody got this right. Interesting. Nate's gone with brown. The same as normal. You're incorrect, Nate. Uh, Emma's gone with blue. I like your thinking, because Blastoise is blue, shiny Blastoise is purple, maybe it has a blue shell. James has gone with grey. That would look disgraceful. Um, George has gone with blue. Uh, Miles has gone with orange, which is by far my favourite answer um, so far. Luke and Gengar went with green. He that's said because his body Luke, is purple. That's because Luke and Gengar is correct. Good work, it Luke and green. Gengar. Question number 10. Which Pokemon is the version mascot for the Crystal Games? Crystal Game is Generation 2. Yeah, gold, it's gold, silver, silver and crystal. So it'll be one of those Pokemon. Um, Nate's gone with Celebi. Interesting guess. Not correct. Emma's <laughs> gone with Curum, which is not even in the same generation. Okay. <laughs> um, James has gone with Ho-Oh. That's gold, mate. Um, George has gone with Gyarados. I think we'd all love to see Gyarados on the front <laughs> of a game. It's not correct. And Miles has gone with a super vague, some form of dragon thing. <laughs> It's not even some form of dragon <laughs> thing. The correct answer is Suicune. Uh, the legendary dog Pokemon. Wa water. water. Yeah, water. Was it? Entoi, Raikou and Suicune. But they went with Suicune because they had a little storyline about it. Uh. And it was, you could, rather than it just roaming around yeah. and you have to find it and then it runs away, it was in a specific place. Okay. So there we go. Um, as, as far as it goes to... Uh, uh, scores on their debuts, Miles has scored a mighty zero. It's okay, even Nate does that sometimes. George, uh, a stunning one, top notch. James has uh, also smashed out a quite respectable one. Yeah. Um, Emma and Nate, two points each. Oh, it's a tie. And you, know, and you know how much I hate ties. So tiebreaker question. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Have you got one prepared? I haven't. I'm just going to make one up. Oh, it's going to be, it's gonna be really hard, though. Poker break. No, obviously. Well, what's the point? Okay, go then. I was going to do it about natures, but you, you literally sat in front. Yeah, let's do natures. Yeah, okay. Um, no, do whatever you want. What does Pikachu evolve from? Pichu. Oh, Emma McGann yeah. for the win. Good work, Emma. There we go. I thought, in a little bit of tribute to Real Masigno and his P Pichu brothers, I thought I'd do that. Wicked. So there we go. Thank you, everybody, very much for taking Just quickly, part. big shout out to Ryan Maloney, who's made it back for part of the show. Welcome to the show. Hero. Hero. Um, big shout out for everybody few, who's listening, in fact. We've got a few Facebook messages here. For, uh, one from Sarah Springfield asking, is Latias a psychic type in the TCG? In the TCG Nate. games? Uh, that is the card. There's uh, multiple ones. There's there's there is. There's multiple types. Um, I will find out for you shortly. Then we'll find out and let you know. Because there are, are a few. Also had another question saying, which game are we looking most forward to, X or Y? Now, I'm looking forward more to Y because I think the bird thing looks cool. I can't remember what it's called. Veltal. Cool. Um, but then again, there is that rainbow stag looking thing. Xerneas. Xerneas. Um, I don't know. It all depends on... What other poke? I think we're all looking forward to the new Eevee Evolution. 
evolution. Multiple, hopefully. Sylveon? Sylveon, yeah. Which, Sylveon is great. I told my mum, interesting story, I told my mum about this because my mum's name is Sylvia. <laughs> and her reaction was, I kid you not, it's great. <laughs> mum, oh. God, sort it out. No matter how hard you try to get your mother on Pokemon, it just doesn't work out for anybody. Uh, well, when I told my parents about it, they said, oh, it's Pokemon a game. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, you should have said, no, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I That's should what have. you should have said. Thank you, everybody, for taking part in the yes, quiz. Yes, thanks for everyone fun. for tweeting in. Fun. Good times. Let's move on because we've got a lot to do. What do we need to do now? It's my section next. <laughs> do I calm down, mate. I love this section. <laughs> it's the. Uh, it's my Hello. card of the week. <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking, trying to find the script. Yeah, here we go. Card of the week. Uh, this week, I'm taking a card from the Plasma Storm uh, expansion. Um, and my card of the week this week is Victini EX. Had a lot of stick, this card has, saying, oh, it's too weak, it's frail, it's fragile. Yeah, it is, but it's... Hang on, buddy. Hang on. You carry on. I've got your back. Huh? Carry on. Oh, okay. Rick's running off somewhere. I think, you know, I think I know where he's going. Anyway, Victini EX. Yes, it does only have 110 HP, which is very low for an EX, as with cards such as Celebi EX, Mew EX, things like that. The reason why is because if it had any more, this card would be ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, Victini EX. First attack, Turbo Energize. Um, Turbo Energize means it gives you the ability to search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach them to your bench Pokemon in any way you like, shuffle your deck afterwards. The key thing here is the fact that it doesn't specify a type. So as long as you're grabbing basic energy cards, you can be doing that um, as well, like it says, any basic energy cards, any type, so not necessarily dependent on the type of deck you're playing this card. So. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good energizing, it's a way to get your Pokemon uh, with uh, energi energy cards on it straight away very quickly. You only need one fire energy card to do that. Um, it's second attack, intensifying burn, which is one fire. And uh, If you've got a double colorless energy in your deck, which you should, um, then you could be getting this attack in two turns. Uh, if this defending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, the attack does 50 more damage. So that's 100 damage to an EX Pokemon, which obviously EX are dominating the game form at the moment. So a really good attack, a really good card. Yes, its weakness is water, which is bad at the moment because of Keldeo EX. Keldeo, um, with only 110 HP, Keldeo EX would kill it without even taking the weakness um, into account. So yeah, weakness isn't a good thing. HP is its downfall. However, there are cards... Um, the, well, a card that's really interesting as well. Um, Victory Piece, uh, which is the new Ace Spec card. And it says, if this card is attached to Victini EX, Victini EX can do its attacks regardless of the amount of energy types required to do so. So you can be doing both of these attacks um, for no energy cards. Uh, and it's because Vic Victory Piece is a tool card, an item card, sorry, um, Pokemon tool, that you can, you can get hold of it quite easily. So it's, it's looking quite good. You could... Uh, I like the fact that you can do those attacks with no energy cards. You do. I've got your back here. You've got... Your, if you'd like to go back to the webcam on me. I can do. Here we go. Does everybody want to see what a full art Victini looks like? There we go. That's the Victini oh! EX. And... Whoa! <laughs> and... Shiny victory, victory piece. piece. And also... Well, I've not got to that yet. It's not there. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> we'll, we about. Get now. onto that now. The reason why um, Victini EX is my uh, card of the week um, is because there's been a lot of hype around Steel type decks uh, at the moment with the release of Plasma Storm and the release of Kling Clang. If you remember, was one of my Pokemon card of the week. So I said it was going to be big. Um, its ability means that uh, any Steel type Pokemon aren't affected by any attack or anything from an EX card. So uh, it's kind of like Sigilyph's ability. It's not damaged by an EX. card card. Kling Clang's ability applies that to all of your steel type Pokemon. So this card here, Cabalion EX, which everyone is using with Kling Clang EX at the moment. You mean this card here that I've got in my hand? Yeah, the one you, yeah, you can show it on the webcam. There you go. There it is. There's Cabalion EX. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I am using it in my steel deck as well. Um, 108 HP, Righteous Edge, we, we did cover this uh, in previous shows. But yeah, the reason why Victini EX is it will be the 
killer of this deck. If you are using Cabalion EX in conjunction with Kling Clang, um, which a lot of people are doing, Victini is going to be de dealing 200 damage to Cabalion EX. So it is the Cabalion killer. Because of that intensifying burn doing 50 more damage, so that's 100 damage base, but also Cabalion EX is weak to fire, so Victini will be... Um, Smashing that Cabalion combo EX up. down. So, uh, yeah, watch out if you are running the um, Kling Clang Cabalion deck. Um, if not, it's, it is a, overall a good card. Yeah, like I say, it's downfall, is it's HP. A lot of people have been moaning about that. But hey, can't be everything. It can't have like 180 HP as well as having Victory Peace and things like that. So, we have to deal with it, but it's a good card. Cool. So, that is my card of the week. Well done, mate. Just to point out, we got those cards from our wonderful card opening. Which will be on YouTube soon. You loved that, didn't you? I did. I absolutely adored doing it. Right, let's crack on with the show. Just a quick review of competitions. Show the Who's That Pokemon. Or, or don't, fine. I'm, I am doing. I'm having massive internet problems. So we've got Who's That Pokemon, we've got the caption contest. If you want to enter these, you can do those in all the ways that I'm about to tell you now. There Skype, you go. Studybox FM. Email radio at studybox.com. Tweet us at Pokemania FM. Or go on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Pokemania FM. Um, that's the capture contest there. That's the Who's That Pokemon. Thank you for everybody who's taken part so far. It's been awesome. You're all awesome. Everyone is awesome. Keep it up. Yes. Thank you for everyone who's tweeting in as well. Um, now it's time to move on to our next section, which is the Pokemon battle, because unfortunately we're running low on time. So, Nate, do you want to play it? Just a quick intro to this while Nate gets that ready. This is by a fan-made game called um, Pokemon Type Wild, uh, and you can go and get the ROM online, um, and I highly recommend playing it, because what it is, as you'll see from the game, um, it's a cross between Pokemon and such games like Tekken and Street Fighter and things like that. But hey, don't let me tell you how awesome it is. Yep. Just check it out with me commentating live. Here we go. Not live. Hello, yes, Type Wild. Look, that's Versus Battle. Let's have a look at some of the Pokemon that our players will be using. There's some music. We've got Gengar, Snorlax, Combusken, Blaziken, Bloom, Gardevoir, Swalot, Lopany, mm, or Lucario. Um, let's see what everyone's... It looks like Emma. James and Emma are the people taking part. I should have said that. Emma has gone for a good Lopany already. Um, of course, this has nothing really to do with uh, types and stats and things like that, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a, a fight game. You'll see as it happens now. Gardevoir versus Lopany. Each that little thing there was um, whether or not you could pick a Pokemon to come and help you halfway through the game. The battle starts. Oh, that's some nice fist punching from Lopany's ears there. Interesting. Gardevoir teleporting about the place. I'm enjoying the scenery. Nice throw. Oh, there's just a Zatu staring off into a sunset. Love it. Some Murkrow flying by. These Pokemon like to jump about. Well, of course, it's a, it's a rabbit. There's some strong hitting there from James's Gardevoir. There, as we said, there's a Sandal come out to help. And there's Mischievous shooting what seems to be psychic lightning from his eyes. Standard. Throw that Gardevoir. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, that was tight. KO. First round goes to Gardevoir as James. Uh, we're doing best of three Pokemon, so um, if James wins the next one, he wins. It's best of three on this one, and then it's best of three overall. They'll pick different Pokemon. Emma punching with those ears. That's, that's a nice, some nice kicking maneuvers there. James trying to throw some balls. Teleporting away. Teleporting back. Classic. Oh. Interesting stuff. Just to point out, this game is a fan-made game. It's called Pokemon Type Wild. You can search it online and download it. This is on uh, the beta version 5.3. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh-oh. Kick that guy out of work. Seems to have backed him into a corner. Oh, that's a punch in the face, and that's a KO for James, thus making it one all at this point. Yeah, stand there like that, Lopini. Mmm, Nate loves it. Round three, let's see who will win. James is kicking at nothing. Oh, solid earring there. Counter hit. Always fun to know. Seems like you have 100 seconds to beat the absolute berries out of your opponent. And we're preferring the throw my ears at the Pokemon tactic. Love it. 
Again, jumping over that guy was pretty funny. Ear clap. Man, that low his ears are serious. Can't hold in that. Oh, there's a good Oh, but it doesn't matter. Lopunny with a smack down there. Whoa. Oh, this isn't looking good for James. What's going to happen? Both Pokemon have... Uh, you can see uh, at the bottom there, there's a little thing that says go with a Pokemon next to it. That's when you know you can use your other Pokemon. This isn't looking good for James. Oh, and a Sandal comes out and smacks our Gardevoir up. Two player wins. That's a, That's one in the bag. Oh, Lopunny. Mmm. What is that? Nate? Nate? Don't look. Right, pick a different Pokemon. Uh, James has gone for Gengar. Oh, Gengar versus Snorlax. This looks like it could be fun. Snorlax there just eating some berries. Standard. This is an interesting uh, scenery. But James tells me it's the Pokemon Colosseum background, and there appears to be Espeon and Umbreon on there, standing in the back. Snorlax doing what appears to be a funny dance. Oh, Gengar just surfboarding along the floor. <laughs> Love Gengar's attacking with a newspaper. Where did Gengar get this newspaper from? Oh, lick, lick that Snorlax, Gengar. Spinning lick. Oh, there's a muck. There he is. Taking time out from our caption contest to come and say hi. Oh, look, Snorlax is giving Gengar a bit of a scene to. That's a nice ball there. Oh, that's one. That's one for Emma. This isn't looking good for James. He's already 1-0 on um, Pokemon Down. Let's see what happens. James has picked a Haunter there. Lick that Snorlax. Newspaper that Snorlax. Snorlax seems to have a ridiculous amount of health and hits like a truck. That's what I can say. He's not so sleepy now, is he? What's going on? Of course, you all know if this battle was taking place in real life, this would... In real, I say real life, in Pokemon life, this wouldn't be doing anything because ghost type moves and normal type moves don't affect each other. That's the interesting thing about Type Wild. No need to know about your types. Surfboard, though. Lick that Snorlax. I like it when Gengar gets hit, his eyes come out. It's pretty funny. What was it? Haunter just came out there. Why is that girl dancing in the background? Oh, it's very close again. These these ones are becoming quite close. Kick that Snorlax. Oh, newspaper right to the Snorlax belly. That Snorlax goes down. A winner. One player win. So that brings it back to uh, evens. Let's see what's going to happen. It's pretty windy out there. Look at his cloak go. Yeah. Why are they just posing there, Gengar? What happened then? Smack that Snorlax with that newspaper. That Snorlax is getting read the news and licked. Oh, that was pretty cool. Surfboarding underneath the flying Snorlax. Spinning kick. Oh, a nice, what I assumed was a shadow ball. Oh, Snorlax is kicking that. Gengar. Oh, a headbutt there. James has got to be careful. If he loses this one, he loses his best of three, so he loses overall. I think it's low on health, but he's newspapering that Snorlax. There it is. Kick to the face. Oh, Medicham! Where did he come from? Or she. Snorlax has got a muck in the waiting. That sounds bad. Slap that Snorlax. Oh, this is interesting. He needs this to go through. What is it? Oh, Snorlax down. James wins. That's one all. Time to change a new Pokemon. I see what. Oh, oh Gengar looks happy there. Let's see which P Pokemon will be chosen from. We've still got Blaziken, Combusken, Breloom, Lucario, Swellop. Uh, Emma's gone for Blaziken versus Swellop. This could be interesting. An odd looking Pokemon, but quite the funky moustache. <laughs> this looks weird. We're, at, we're now in a forest with a, with a Stantler and a Pseudo Wudo. What? Is that Pinsir just come out of. There's Pinsir. Pinsir's just in Swanot's mouth. Standard. Hit that blazer Ken with your gas and Pinsir. Is this just me, or is like, is that Morty? Is that Jim Leader Morty? Coughing! There he is. Hello. That's some gas. Some, that's one gassiest Swallow. Oh, what was that? What came out of the Swallow then? Oh, this game is weird. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I'm Swallow down. Yeah. He's so cool. Blaze again. Yeah. I like how Sudo is just like in the background, like, hello! Gas that. Blaziken. 
Emma's one up. Remember, this is the deciding. Well, no. Pits and Pins is just like, hello. This is the deciding round. Don't be facing the wrong way. Oh, solid punch to the face. Seem to be staying, putting their distance, keeping their distance from each other. Yeah, look, Morty in the background just chatting someone up. Hello, I'm Morty. Are you liking these Pokemon fighting? And a big random tower. Gas that blaze again. Oh, nice uppercut to the face. Although Swellet seems to be mostly just face. Why? Why is this pincer doing inside this Swellet? I, I don't. I don't see what. Just get out. It's a good double team though. Oh, pincered for the win. That brings it back to one all. Hey, look how happy Swellet is. He's definitely won. But there's no pincer inside him now. Where's that pincer get stored? This is the deciding match. Let's see what happens. Emma versus James. Ooh. Uh oh, poisoned. That's not good for Blaziken. That poison is slowly taking damage down from. I did not see that coming. James has got to hold on just to let the poison take its hold, but he will not. Uh oh. Getting kicked in the corner. This does not look good for James. Oh, Electro comes out. Oh, that's an explosion. This is right back in it. This is. Oh no, kick to the face. Emma wins. Knockout. Oh, and that. What? What? <laughs> I'm very confused as to what is happening, but punch that screen, Blazer Ken. Good work, guys. Wow. Look at that. Did you, did you enjoy that, Nate? I did. Of course um, you did. Lopini although, was I wasn't here when they filmed this, so I did not know that Lopany was going to be in it. That was James versus Emma. It was a good match. On, if you, um, you want to download that, if you want to install that... Um, James here, he's trainer, uh, Cool Trainer James, has posted a link to that on our forum, on our website, www.pokemaniafm.com. Go on the forum, sign up, and he, in one of the pulses, he's posted a link to that amongst a load of other different cool Pokemon games. So if you want to have a play at that, please do. It is pretty cool. It's really weird as well, though. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. It's good. It's good, some good stuff. Um, lots to get through and very little time to do that. We've still got news and winners from last week going up. But right now, I would like to do some shout-outs. Yes. If that is at all possible. Um, what with our plight to get Pokemon tattoos and the Facebook likes, I have lots of people that I'd really love to shout-out because they've been ha really nice and shared our link and things like that. Yeah, this so, was the picture on Facebook. There it is. So I'm going to do this now. We've got, I'd like to say big thank you to admins at Pokemon 3D X and Y page and the M-O-B-B 3-E-D, 3-D, uh, mobbed YouTube channel. Admins at Pokemon X and Y page. Admins at I Love Dawn from Pokemon page. Admins at Being a Pokemon Master page. The admins of the Ash Ketch, uh, Ash Ketchum page on Facebook. Admin Samara at the I Will Always Love Pokemon Facebook page. Primetime Pokemon page. Admins at Pokemon X and Y ver version guide news videos and artwork. Fiery Charizard page. Pokemon X and Y version page. Spelt slightly differently. Lauren at the Pokemon Master Mordecai page. Admin Giles at uh, Professor Oak, Pokemon Gold Trainer Page, the Lazy Ass Mewtwo, Admin Neko, uh, the Pokemon Black and White Page, uh, Admins at Pokemon Worlds, PokemonLake.com, which is also a cool online Pokemon game you should check out, Rob at Pokemon Vortex Page, Admin Mewtwo at Pokemon Quotes and Funny Stuff, and Shadow L, Pokemon X and Y Page. Thank, thank you, you guys all. so much, and also thank you everybody who liked and shared, if I didn't say you, thank you. To and everyone who's liked and shared that image, keep it going. Thanks guys. Right, um, let's move on to some more news some more news indeed hi right, guys don't forget to check out the new Pokemon TV app for iOS and Android and watch the exclusive Meloetta's Moonlight Serenade it's only available for a limited time so watch it soon also available on the Pokemon TV app as a first episodes in the Pokemon Black and White Rival Destiny series Pokemon have announced that new episodes will be added to this series every Friday awesome stuff I know a lot of people who've got this app it is so cool it is cool I've uh, been playing around with it. It's really good. That's yeah. what I watched. Meloetta's Midnight Serenade on. It's really good. Check it out. I highly recommend. Um, in more news, we've got some more trading card game news. I'll 
put this up for you. Um, yeah, there's been two new cards announced for the upcoming Megalo Cannon TCG expansion. Um, Electros and Porygon Z, the images are on your webcam now. Uh, they look wicked. I think the artwork's really cool. Uh, just a quick note on this card uh, on Electros. Uh, the translation for its second attack, Lightning Storm, does 50 damage time. It says flip four cord, flip four coins. This attack does 50 damage times the number of heads, potentially doing 200 damage there. That's cool. Um, there isn't a release date for the UK and US still on this, but the expansion is expected in Japan on March the 15th. So we're looking at a couple of months normally afterwards. Where did you get the translation for that? Poker Beach. Dot com. Shout out check to out. Com. Go and check it out. You can have a look at all the translations for the Japanese cards and all other kind of things like that. Wicked stuff. So that's the news. That's, we've that's, done all of our news. That's all of our news we? this week. Um, quickly, I'd like to, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, take a moment to take some time out and ask all the listeners something. Okay. If you go onto our forum um, and post it, we have a trade page on there so if you if you do want to if you are looking for new pokemon please get on get on to our forum um, and surely we'll find someone for you to trade with but i personally am six away from all 649 now i'd like to ideally get this done before x and y comes out so if anybody out there has these pokemon and is willing to trade them i will of course trade them straight back i just need them in my um pokedex, pokedex so i can go and get them from other places these six pokemon genesect meloetta i know that one hasn't yeah, yeah. been released um, soon though uh oh, i've got mew got that i know just give it to me <laughs> deoxys got that yeah, i know <laughs> manaphy and celebi so those are the six pokemon i need i've got celebi as well no you don't i do have celebi no, you don't. I do have Celebi. No, you I told you don't. I had Celebi because you only need three if I give you those three. Okay. Anyway, where's this trade thing? On our Pokemania, www.pokemaniafm.com, go onto the forums and it's one of the pulses on there. Wicked. Me and Nate are on there. Uh, there you'll also get our friend codes on there so you can battle us anytime and a lot of other cool people who listen to the show. Um, super cool people. They're all so helpful. So thank you for that. And go online and you will get friend codes trade um cards and everything like that it's all about pokemon and fun stuff and like i said roms and things like that for games like pokemon type wild which we featured earlier yes fan made game you said indeed i'm definitely going to get that because it looks really good yeah it's speaking good it, it's a lot of fun to play speaking of fan made things yes. it's now time for our poker fan section yeah this is where we share all the stuff that you've been sharing with us indeed um, and it's like this is all linked if you go onto the Pokemon fo Pokemania FM forum page there's a there's a fan made section there's a fan oh, art section fan art where section where you can post it on and then we'll upload it to the show yes indeed uh, wow. talking of fans Luke and Gengar's just tweeted this this was his 2000th tweet thank you to all the followers for being on my journey he gives, he's giving us a shout out thanks very much hero yeah for, for being on your 2000th tweet that's a lot of tweets uh, and Chris says um, thanks again for the booster pack never expected that to pop up you're we, welcome yeah the thing is we, we've been sending booster packs off to people for prizes and things like that and we do have a fairly good success rate for um, cool cards yeah we've been told that because yeah. people have been getting EXs and everything people say, we, people say we have some mad booster pack <laughs> picking skills um, Rick speaking of the uh, the forum yep. we've just had a post in there uh, Ryan Maloney has a Genesect Meloetta on Black 2 and yeah, Celebi and Manaphy uh, Manaphy on Heart Gold well we'll yeah mm. Rick's, Rick's very happy we've got a right now here Rick so you can use so Rick's I will be on right that now. forum soon um <laughs> Just quickly, when you're talking about Meloetta, yeah. uh, lucky news for um, Australia and New Zealand, uh, you'll be getting the chance to get Meloetta two weeks before everyone else in the world. So uh, check out the Pokemon website for news on that. Cool stuff. The Australian Pokemon website. Um, so yeah, fan section. We've had a lot sent in this week. Uh, we mentioned briefly about that tattoo, that Charizard tattoo. You know the one we were talking about earlier? I do, I do remember, yes. Yeah, um, here it is. That's cool. That's a leg, right? Or an arm? I'm not sure. It's either a leg or an arm. But that Charizard looks serious. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, if you can tweet me, tweet Pokemania, and uh, let us know where you got that done. Because <laughs> uh, it looks awesome. 
Um, we've also had uh, a nice painting. This was sent in by Ryan Maloney. Nice painting of Caterpie. Oh, that's nice. That is cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Move out my way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like that. Uh, Sarah Springfield, I believe, sent this one in. Yeah. Uh, said uh, Pokemon just got dangerous. <laughs> we've shown that one before, I think. Not that I'm complaining. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, Charizard. We've shown that one before. Um, and yeah, that's uh, just sort where, of our... Where do people... Um, do, how do people make these? I it's, it baffles me. Fan art. If you just... Even if you just Google, like, Pokemon fan art, there's so much of it. Yeah. Some of it is awesome as well. There's a <clears throat> company who do artwork of the Pokeballs. They make them yeah. look real. They are serious. So, yeah, sorry if to anyone who'd send stuff in that I didn't get a chance to show, but we, we, we keep showing it, and it might pop up on next week's show. But, again, please do go over to our forum. I'm yes. Still, I'm just going to push that, uh, where you can post it and view awesome fan art. Autumn said, uh, tweeted in uh, saying uh, that they have a Deoxy that they will trade across to you. People are awesome. We've just had a, another tweet in um, from somebody um, with, uh, with the Twitter, Mo Chocolate 26 saying, for me to, for you, enjoy my Pokemon dance mix. Um, it looks amazing. So we're going to retweet that right now. Yeah, I've tweeted him saying uh, we might feature it on next week's show. Yeah, we will. Anything yes. that's a Pokemon dance mix. Yeah, I'll try and get that video for next week's show. Well, that'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm more than willing to do. Also, have we spoken about um, the unwrapping? Yes, we yes. have. I've informed everyone that, that we video will be on YouTube. Uh, when will it be on YouTube? It'll be on YouTube. Like this I also, I also believe um, our Harlem Shake will be on YouTube. Our Harlem Shake will be on That YouTube. was what you saw at the start of the show. After the show, we're going to have that straight up on YouTube. So if anybody would like to share that via Facebook or Twitter, then please, please do. do. Because everybody's awesome. The Pokemon Harlem Shake. What more could you want? What Pokemon can we... Oh, come on. Harlem. You've got... There's got to be a Pokemon around Harlem. Uh, oh, shake. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Beedrill. The Beedrill <laughs> Shake. Oh, my word. Come on, there's got to be one that's kind of like... Har the Hariyama Shake. Yeah. Close. Maybe we could... If the you Golem could do better, Shake. The Golem Shake. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I like it. So if you can think of anybody... Um, if you can think of anybody who... If you can, anybody, if you can think of a name, that'd be cool. Yeah. We'll share that Harlem Shake, don't worry. He said that? We've got that tweet. That's been tweeted in. By oh, from Pokemon XY official. Yeah. Thanks it's very much. Cool. Thanks uh, indeed. Uh, we've got... Competitions. Yeah, let's review our contact info first for people who want to get involved in this week's competition. Okay, indeed. So if you do want to get in touch with us throughout the week, you can do in a number of ways. Do you want to go through it? You, can, to go through you it? can email us, radio at studyvox.com. You can twit, tweet us at either at studyvoxfm or at pokemania.fm. Uh, you can hit us up on Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash pokemania.fm. Hit like while you're there. Um, you can go onto our website, our new website, www.pokemaniafm.com, and you can also view all of our last shows, so you can re-listen and re-watch the shows and you can do on our on website YouTube and well. on YouTube. Yeah, we've got a nice YouTube page with all that. Yep, fun stuff. Lots of ways to get in touch, um, and you've got from now until next week's show to enter uh, this week's competitions. Indeed. Which leads us nicely on to winners from last week. Definitely. Now, do you want to get up the pictures from last week and yes, show well, them to us, Nate? Get on that. Um, well, if you remember last week's caption, uh, we're going to put that up now with its winner. With its winner. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> so our winner was James Hart. Congratulations, James Hart, who said whose caption was, Professor Oak was regretting not having chosen the female mark. <laughs> Well, there we go. Why yeah. is he on the phone? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he on the phone? I like it. I like it. But thank you for everybody. Who we had a great, a great um, chuckle. At we these. did. Um, we had quite a lot of captions for that. All of us, all of them made us laugh. Okay. We had a tweet in saying, the chuckle shake. For Radio Hutchins. <laughs> um, just Good quickly, stuff. big shout out to Pokemon XY Official who just started following us. Boom. Thanks very much. Uh, so, and, and our uh, winner last week's for Who's That Pokemon was, of course, Rayquaza. And our winner was Tristan Bull. Br Bruil, sorry. Tristan Bruil, um, who says uh, Rayquaza. Was smiley that? face. Smiley face. Yeah. It was, of course, Rayquaza. A lot of, lot of guesses. A um, lot of Onyx. People saying Onyx. Really? Mm. Interesting. Um, 
I just had a brilliant idea, and, the, and at the end of the show is not the best time for me to bring this up, but smiley faces, why don't we get a Jigglypuff one? Yeah? You know how you can get smiley faces? Why don't we get one that's got a Jigglypuff on it? Or a Pokeball! Okay, we can work on that. You can put that. at the end of your messages. Okay. What's the, uh, what's the, what, what do you have to put? I don't know that yet, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a tech guy. I think it should be, um, open bracket, circle, close bracket. That should be the sign for a Pokeball. Cool. Maybe we can make it, let's see, does it? <laughs> ideas, ideas. Uh, Miles and George, can you just do me a favour, real quick? Yeah? Uh, can you give a shout out to... Oh, it's gone! Um, while you're looking for that, just congratulations to you winners. If you could get, if you could messages on Facebook or Twitter, direct messages with your details of where we can send your prize, that would be great. And congratulations and thank you for entering. Thank you yes. for everyone who enters. Can you, can you two just give a shout out to Ben Brooks, please? Sure. Hey, Ben. Hi, Ben. <laughs> Good work. There you go. Good work. We're coming towards the end of the show. I will literally do anything people tweet in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Do not say that. I'm saying that at the end of the show. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, everybody, for listening in. We'll be back at the same time next week, 8 till 10. We will. Here on www.studvoxfm.com. Stay tuned to Studvox FM. We've got loads of awesome shows, which includes The Rock Show, which is next. Coming up next. Yep. Indeed. Uh, go on. We've also... Facebook, um, Twitter and give us a like yep. as well on Studio Keep hitting up our forums. We check them all week long, um, as with our Twitter and also our YouTube page. Um, you can expect videos being uploaded to our YouTube channel throughout the week. Definitely, we're trying to... We'll have make, more make news our, on that next Pokemon week. Make week super awesome. And we'll have more news on that next uh, week. Luke and Gengar says, will the intro be on YouTube? Yes, it will. We're about to end now. See you later, guys! Bye! Bye.